Hey guys, welcome back to Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey, and uh, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to apply a fillet to a three dimensional object. And we're going to use the fillet on the edge surface here. Uh, so to get started, you go up to fillet, and I'm going to set this to uh, 0 0.20 inches, which is roughly close to a quarter inch. Now, the way I designed this, um, when I was measuring the, the real life object, it was at close to 0.25 inches, uh, give or take, you know, a couple decimal points there. Um, I tried 0.25 on here earlier, and it wasn't uh, allowing me to do the fillet on the edge. And that's probably partly uh, in, you know, due to the fact that the way I designed the object, it just wasn't, the, the software program wasn't taking it. So, for the sake of this video, keeping it short and not, you know, messing up, I just want to show you how to do it with a 0 0.20 radius because it was taking that. So, I set it to 0.20 inches. You're going to select your, your surface here on the edge, and it applies a uh, fillet so that the edge surface has is, is got a curved, curved feature there. Uh, just click Apply. And there you have it. Now you can do this on any edge. The other cool thing is you can do, when you select the fillet here, you can go with the feature. You can select the entire feature if you want. And uh, this little, little uh, button here will allow you to control the uh, curved feature on the entire object so you can get like basically curved edges all the way around the feature as you're seeing here okay so if you select feature that's what it's going to do it's going to basically curve all edges of your feature now I'm just going to strictly go back to the edge here and we're going to stay with what we initially had so you just pull this arrow out right there hit apply and there we go so just want to let you know that you can do that uh, with this um, program which I think is pretty cool um, that's all I have for this video uh, if you like what you're seeing go ahead and hit the like button you can subscribe to the channel I'll uh, be sure to shoot some more videos here in the future on uh, different techniques that you can use for designing parts uh, mechanical parts uh, in Inventor 2018. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later and have a good day.